Now, the main challenger, as we just saw, to Erdogan, Muharrem Inche. He is of the CHP party, and we're joined now from Ankara by a former MP, Far Inche's uh, party, also a judge at the European Court of Human Rights. Riza Terman, thank you for talking to us on France 24. What do you make of this election result? Well, I think the, the result is quite clear. Um, Mr. Erdogan has won the elections by, by a margin of 2.5%. Uh, now, um, it is not only uh, the, the uh, election of a president, but it is also entering into force of an entirely new uh, system. Whether this will entail a, a change of regime or not, that remains to be seen. But uh, the fact now is that Mr. Erdogan, as the president of the new system, uh, enjoys an immense concentration of power without any checks and balances. Now, the question, of course, is how will he be exercising this, this concentration of power? Whether uh, he will exercise in a more democratic way, whether he will be the president of the 49% uh, which, which does not vote for Mr. Erdogan, or whether he will exercise it in a manner which is not very democratic, uh, which, which, which suppresses all the opposition in the country, um, that, of course, is, is a big question. Uh, we, we hope that this new change will also bring a new change in democracy in Turkey, and the uh, Turkish system will be more democratic. There will be uh, independent judiciary, and uh, fundamental rights and freedoms will be observed, like freedom of press and freedom of assembly. And he said himself that state of emergency will be lifted, and I hope he will keep his promise and will, will lift the state of emergency. Now, you're, you're a judge at the European Court of Human Rights. Uh, last week, the chair of Amnesty International in Turkey and 10 other activists faced charges of membership of a terrorist organisation, essentially just for doing their work. You sound hopeful uh, about uh, perhaps uh, progress on uh, the issues of human rights and press freedom, etc. But news, I mean, just from last week, doesn't sound very positive in that regard, does it? Pardon? Can you, can you repeat the question? I'm just referring to a, a case, a court case last week, where the chair of Amnesty International and many other uh, activists uh, were facing charges of membership of a terrorist organisation. Yeah. Uh, I'm just talking about the general human but, rights context in Turkey, which has seen a lot of criticism. And as you're a judge at the European Court of Human Rights, what, what would your take generally be about uh, the human rights situation in Turkey with this under a strengthened Erdogan well, presidency? Well, well general, human rights situation, general human rights situation in Turkey is not very promising at present. It is, um, well, you can see this from the judgments of the European Court of Human Rights against Turkey. Uh, the, the, uh, all freedoms, uh, fundamental rights and freedoms are suppressed, but on top of it, many, many newspaper men and, and other uh, human rights activists are in jail mm. for, no, for no good reason. And this uh, has to be uh, amended. This has to be remedied. Uh, do, do, you think the leader, the, do you think the leader of your Do you think the leader of your party, the, uh, uh, Mr. Inche, uh, will be in a position to provide a sort of spirited opposition um, in, 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 the, in the years, months and years ahead? Well, the, the, of course, the opposition now, what kind of opposition uh, there will be in Turkey in the future uh, very much depends on what kind of ruling Mr. Erdogan has in mind. If uh, we have a, a, a very authoritarian uh, regime again, then, of course, the opposition will also be a, a, a forceful opposition. Uh, there will be, of course, a struggle, a fight for democracy and human rights and, and independence of, of uh, judiciary. Um, but if, if Mr. Erdogan uh, exercises his power in a democratic manner, of course, the opposition can also uh, contribute uh, to, to the installment of democracy in, in Turkey. Um, Riza Terman, we'll, it, we'll it have to leave it uh, there. Mm -hmm. uh, we're running out of time, but thank you so much uh, uh, for yeah. your uh, insights. Riza Terman, a judge at the European Court of Human Rights and former MP for the CHP thank you. party, talking to us from Ankara.